If you look at the old European cities, whether it's Paris, London, or even New York, Chicago, um, they have a certain charm, a character to them about it. Like versus compared to new modern cities like, uh, like newer, relatively newer city like Houston or uh, Dallas or they don't have that charm. And the reason is because in a lot of these old cities, when they designed these cities, uh, they designed these road networks that kind of die into an area which becomes a place where you go. Whether it was a piazza, whether it was a public square, whether it was um, a space that is surrounded by buildings and has a park and it has a lake or something, a small paddle boat or lake, or it has a skating rink like in New York City, you know. So you created a a place within a, a built environment. And it was done deliberately. And then what happened is as time passed by, we forgot about that. We kind of killed that. And a lot of reasons for that. Automobile, invention of automobile was one of that. So people weren't walking anymore. They were driving. Now you're building a road and you, you're passing these buildings at 50 miles an hour versus when you were walking, you were going at four miles an hour. So the whole interaction of human being to the built environment or to a place that was created, it just completely got distorted. And, and we had now a completely different environment which does not give importance to placemaking. So we learned that in 60s, 70s, and we said that was a mistake. And then we started doing master planning. And when we started doing, we, we actually started doing master planning. In the master plan, we said, let's just start making, a, again, focus on those basic elements like placemaking within a built environment. So now if you see the newer development that have come up, like Dubai, uh, Marina in Dubai, Jumeirah Lake Towers in Dubai, or the downtown of Dubai, they have deliberately tried to create that, that place where people would congregate they would just be they would be for they would be forced to come to that area whether it's a fountain in the middle of a of a man-made lake surrounded by restaurants and music and uh, dancing fountains and all this stuff that gives it a sense of place that creates that sense of place and people can relate to it it's also a place where you can go to I mean, if you ever go to Italy, even today, you go to these little towns, everybody takes a nap. When they get up at like 5, 30, 6 p.m., they dress up and they start walking out into these little piazzas and public squares where they meet their friends, smoke a cigarette, eat an ice cream, get a cup of coffee, socialize. It's very important to socialize for people. So as a master planner and an architect, we need to give people that place where they can socialize. Because at the end of the day, we work eight hours a day, we sleep eight hours a day, we spend a few hours with their family, but then we want to socialize. We, we want to go out somewhere, whether it's for movies or cinemas or whether it's restaurants or, or just to hang around. That's important. And placemaking is a process that not many architects understand.